Today I'm going to be telling you how to find fractions of fractions or how to multiply fractions by other fractions. It's the same thing. So first example, what is one half times one third? Well, first we need to read this statement as one half of one third, because it often makes more sense, a half of one third. So we're going to take one third and find half of it by splitting it into two equal parts. So let's start using a picture. We're going to take a third, got a bar model here, and we're going to find half of it. First of all, by splitting it using a, hor a vertical line. So in the top bar, I've got one thirds, and in the bottom bar, I've split each third into two equal pieces. So these two pieces here represent the top one third above. So if I take half of one third, I get one of those sixths. But I could represent that using a horizontal line. So I could split it in half the other way. And if I did that, I would still get one sixth. Let's try using a written method. So if we take the numerators, the top parts of the fraction, and we multiply them together and put them over the denominators multiplied together, we end up with 1 over 6, which is exactly the same as I showed in the last slide. When we multiply two fractions, we simply multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators. What is one third times one quarter. So I'm going to take a quarter, I'm going to split it into three equal pieces, and I'm going to take one of those pieces. So one third of one quarter equals one twelfth. I can also imagine this by splitting it using horizontal splitting lines. And again, I start with my quarter and I divide it into three pieces and I take one of them. One third of one quarter equals one twelfth. So using the written method, remember from last time, we find the numerators, we multiply them together. We find the denominators, we multiply them together. And we multiply out. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 4 is 12, 1 twelfth. Same answer that we had before. Let's try another example, 2 thirds of 1 quarter. Again, take a quarter and find 2 thirds of that number. So I'll split it into 3, find the thirds and then take 2 of them. Two thirds of one quarter is two of those pieces. And how many pieces are there? Well, there are three, six, nine, twelve pieces. So it's going to be two twelfths. Or we can do that using horizontal lines. Split into three pieces and take two of them. Again, it looks different, but it's the same fraction of the amount. Two thirds of one quarter is two twelfths. We can then simplify that. Using a written method that we did before, should be getting good at this by now, we identify the numerators, multiply them together, identify the denominators, multiply them together, and we get two times one is two, and three times four is 12. Again, we can simplify that. And now the final example. If you want to 
to try it on your own, you can pause the video now. And I'll first of all explain the picture method. I'm going to draw three quarters, three fourths. And this time I'm just going to split it using the horizontal lines. It's easier for this example. So I'm going to find three pieces, split it into three pieces using those horizontal lines. And how many thirds do I need? I need two thirds. So I'm going to be taking one strip, two strips. So it's going to be those six pieces at the top. Two thirds of three twelfths is six twelfths. And it may be simplified to one half. Now, the right hand diagram may not look like a norm, a picture that you might instantly think of as being one half, but it actually is one half because we've six, we've got six pieces shaded out of 12. And finally, using the written method, the number method, two thirds times three quarters, let's identify the numerators, multiply them together, identify the denominators, multiply them together, and multiply out. Two times three is six, three times four is 12, giving us six twelfths or one half. So when we multiply two fractions, we simply multiply the, multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators.